D&D Machine and Hydraulics has been building pumps and dewatering systems for over 40 years. With pumping systems distributed throughout North and South America and the Middle East, D&D has met many challenges over the years. After the devastation of Hurricane Katrina, D&D Machine and Hydraulics was called on by the Army Corps of Engineers to design and install a pumping system that would serve as a backup system while another pumping station was retrofitted in New Orleans. The challenge of the project was to be able to move enough water downstream toward the Gulf of Mexico to counteract the potential storm surge of another killer storm. This would require moving in excess of 336,000 gallons of water per minute. Within months, D&D designed and installed their largest pumping system ever. The system consists of seven 42-inch axial flow hydraulic pumps. Each pump has its own power unit and discharge assembly. It's kind of like a uh a body, being the power unit, being the heart. Uh, you have a hydraulic pump that mounts on the back of an engine, which feeds pressure down to a motor, which is to your pump head, which is down in the water, which in fact turns the motor, which in turns the impeller, which produces you pushing water or water discharge happening. Then the hydraulic oil will recirculate through the power unit and you'll start to process in like a closed loop system. The biggest challenge we have being a small company is dealing with government and the Army Corps of Engineers, one being all the prerequisites they have for their stuff, testing equipment, meeting a deadline that they set and making everything up to exactly their specifications. Basically building our equipment that we always build but have to modify it to meet their needs. The process begins at D&D's manufacturing facility in Fort Myers, Florida, where raw materials and equipment are formed into the power units, pumps, and discharge systems for the installation. Crucial to the development of a system like this is the engineering that D&D utilizes to exceed the demands and specifications of the project. There's a lot of things in putting a power unit together. It's just not, let me put an engine on it, let me put a pump on it. You have to match curves and horsepowers and gallons per minute to it. Basically, we're, we're running a 500 horsepower John Deere engine. We got a double pump on the back, which produces 120 gallons a minute of oil flow per pump. So that's 240 gallons. We use a 320 gallon hydraulic tank with dual coolers on it. So my hydraulic holding capacity is about 350 gallons. So you need proper cooling for your hydraulic oil. You need to match your uh, horsepower and torque to how many gallons per minute your pump's putting out, and in turn, how many gallons per minute are going down to that motor and turning your impeller. The power units are built on a heavy-duty rectangular steel base assembled with horizontal and vertical welds. All welders at D&D are certified and experienced professionals. The frame for the power unit is constructed, then the hydraulic tanks are constructed and mated to the 500 horsepower John Deere engine. Everything is checked for quality multiple times to assure maximum reliability. Once the skids are assembled with the engines, pumps, tanks, hard piping and coolers in place, the power unit is run dry with no pump attached to set and calibrate all pressures and gauges. The 42-inch pump assembly consists of a basket, inlet bell, wear ring, and diffuser with a bullet to disperse water. These massive pumps are built using specialized flanges and stainless steel or brass fittings. The entire assembly is painted with a tar epoxy to prevent corrosion. One of the last steps of the process is a special lockup test for the pump in which a 4x4 is placed perpendicular to the 42-inch blades to prevent turning to simulate an obstruction or malfunction. This test is done to assure that the pump unit will withstand the pressure and seal tolerances that may be encountered at the final destination. With the power units and pumps completed, D&D conducts simulated application tests in Florida where the units are run for an entire day at full pumping capacity.
Flow level meters are installed at this test for data gathering and monitoring purposes as a proof of concept to the Army Corps of Engineers. With the units tested, painted and complete, they are put on tractor trailers for shipping to New Orleans. The New Orleans site is on the Mississippi River at the Harvey Canal floodgate and locks. A few miles downstream, the Mississippi flows into the Gulf of Mexico, the summer home of killer storms like Katrina. With all seven units installed and operational, D&D conducts a full day demonstration of the massive pumping ability of this system. Again, flow monitoring devices are installed to display flow data to D&D personnel and observers from the Army Corps of Engineers. At the end of the day, all seven pumps performed in the 99th to 100th percentile of the evaluation criteria. The installation proved D&D's capability to design, build, and install a system that can move over 364,000 gallons of water per minute. This capacity would likely keep the critical surrounding homes and businesses safe from the storm surge of a hurricane and securing D&D as the best choice for large-scale pumping systems. It means a lot to D&D as a company. We need to let people know that we're not here just to build a small pump and do dewatering for new construction or something like that. We're here to help people when they need it and we're capable of supplying the equipment to do that. For more information, please call area code 239-275-7177 or visit us on the internet at ddpumps.com.